To meet the needs of a rapidly changing market, displays of the future will need to be brighter, with richer, more vivid colors, have faster video capability, wider viewing angles, work equally well indoors or outdoors, be more durable, and all at a lower cost. To enable this vision, TCZ, a joint venture of Symer Incorporated and Carl Zeiss SMT AG, has developed the TCZ900X, a new tool for improving low temperature polysilicon. Offering a superior alternative to displays fabricated by other techniques such as ELA, excimer laser annealing, and SLS, sequential lateral solidification. TCZ has found a way to cost effectively leverage the benefits of polysilicon, known for its superior screen brightness, increased resolution, and lower power consumption by using the advanced thin beam crystallization process. The end result is superior electron mobility and surface flatness, a large process window, and greater throughput. Leveraging the lithography light source and complex optics expertise of Symer and Zeiss, the innovative TCZ900X is the first cost-effective TBC, thin beam crystallization tool, to use low temperature polycrystalline silicon, LTPS technology, to improve the cost, productivity, and quality of flat panel displays. The foundation of the TCZ900X is the high power excimer laser. The master oscillator power amplifier configuration was originally developed for semiconductor microlithography applications. Operating at 351 nanometers, this laser provides over 900 watts of power with exceptional pulse-to-pulse -pulse stability and high reliability. The TDX optical system converts the laser light into a very long, thin, uniform beam and delivers it onto the silicon substrate. In addition, it stabilizes the beam's energy density and pointing, all of which are necessary for a consistent TDX process. Each pulse exposes an area of approximately 5 microns wide and 720 millimeters long. The length of the beam is matched to the substrate width so that the glass is processed in a single pass to ensure a high degree of uniformity and rapid throughput. During exposure, the panel is scanned at a constant velocity and the laser is triggered to fire at a pitch of 2 microns. The pitch is chosen so that the melt region always seeds from the high quality crystals of the previous pulse, producing long, directional polysilicon crystals. Each pulse also melts the large ridge that is seen in the lateral growth techniques, resulting in a more planar surface. The TDX process is based on a form of controlled superlateral growth where the melt region cools from the edges and towards the center. In contrast to ELA, where crystal growth starts at the bottom of the silicon layer, lateral growth produces large directional polysilicon grains with high electron mobility. Because each location on the panel is exposed to only three pulses compared to 20 to 50 for ELA, the TDX process has a much larger process window and avoids material damage caused by silicon agglomeration. And because the tool is being produced by TCZ, a joint venture of Symer and Carl Zeiss SMT, the TCZ900X has the reliability and uptime expected from two semiconductor industry experts. With a larger process window and higher throughput than existing tools, the TCZ900X will process more than 25 Gen 4 substrates per hour with high yield, substantially reducing the production costs associated with laser crystallization. For years, the display industry has been searching for ways to leverage the superior quality attributes of polysilicon cost effectively. With TCZ's Breakthrough TCZ900X, the wait is over.